what it is to be it's your boy Ron Anthony, man. A hey, watching this uh <clears throat> the uh women's championship, man. LSU going off, but so I ain't gonna be too long. Hey, to all my boxing fans, hey, I know Tank and Garcia is going down April 20, 22nd, but we cannot forget about Rock em Off versus Joe Cardina, man. That's going on down on the same day, but it's I think it's over in the UK, so it's gonna be a little earlier. We we'll probably see it like around probably five, six, six o'clock, just like how the Anthony Joshua Jermaine Franklin went. Uh, but it go it's gonna lead us right into the you know what I'm saying, the tank in them card. But <clears throat> we cannot forget about this fight, man. Joe Cardina, um, when he won his when he won his title. His first title, um, his last previous fight, when he won his first title or whatever, everybody was shocked because they didn't think he was going to win. He, and he got a knockout victory at that. And everybody thought it, uh, it was going to lead into him and Steven Shakur, which I would have thought, which I would have thought would have been like a like a chess match, just like how you getting with Devin Haney and Vasil Lomachenko of a chess match, a great chess match, which is some like a, a boxing fan like me can appreciate. So, but it didn't happen because Shakur, you know, um, he lost his belts on the scale. Nobody couldn't make it to 130 no more. Got to move up. <laughs> Told him you understand. I wish that fight would have happened, but we didn't get it. But Joe Cardina is very, he, man, he's, he should be respected, man. And rock them off. This this gonna be this gonna be a nice fight. Uh, I think I got Joe Cardena winning though. Uh, this for a title, a title. Cause I think Joe Cardena end up losing his belt because I know he was talking. Uh, he was talking. They interviewed him and uh Jack Catterall before Anthony Joshua uh fought fight. Um, and he was talking like he he got to regain what. What was what, what was taken from him? So I don't I don't know the story. Maybe I can leave in the comments or what, or what happened. I I really I really ain't I wasn't up on this. So it was like hold on. Last time I thought he he won the belt or whatever, but he 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 sound fired up. But Joe Cardina nice. I did my homework homework on Rock 'Em Off. Rock 'Em Off nice. I think it's gonna be a back and forth. But Joe Cardina is going to. Obviously, he's shown he got a right hand, and if he sit on it, he gonna put some fire on it. You know what I'm saying? And but Rock 'em off nice too. I think Rock 'em off got a lot, a little respect of power as well. Um, and I, I, uh, I kind, I'm kind of leaning for Joe Cardina to shock people again. You know what I'm saying? They don't really think he got that much punching power. Everybody was shocked when he got his, his, uh, his uh last knockout. To win the title, you know what I'm saying? And everybody was shocked of that, but I think he might shock people again, man. I think his boxing is just I give it up to uh those who uh I res you, if you watch my channel, you know I respect the the sweet science, man. I like pure boxers. You know what I'm saying? And if and if they just so happen to have respect of power, I love it even more because it shows you that you. It shows that skills really do pay the bills in this sport. You can just can't come in this sport and just think you finna just knock everybody out. Everybody you can't knock out, even if you coming out. You know what I'm saying? With this explosive power, you know, uh, a pure boxer with respect to power can can nullify what you what you bring to the table. And, and that's what I love about the sport, man. That's what I love about pure boxers, man. Um, even the ones that don't really have respect or power, but got like, long as they have that jab, man, which uh, I feel is the most disrespected punch in the game. You know what I'm saying? Even though everybody always tell you to use it, that's the first thing they tell you to use when you learn how to box. You know what I'm saying? So. But it's still the most disrespected because everybody respect what don't nobody ooh and ah about the jabs. Did you see Anthony Joshua's jabs? Oh my God, that was 
just beautiful. Did you see it? Like, it don't give respect as if if he would have hit him with a hook, everybody would have remembered him hitting the wood, hit him, hitting, uh, snapping his head back with a hook or an uppercut. You know what I'm saying? Or a body shot. But a jab, snapping your head back with a jab, everybody is like, oh, it's nice, but they don't really too much show respect for it. If you watch a lot of my shorts, I break down fights. Uh, I break down fights who, who, who fights like past fights or even uh modern fights uh i mean today's fights to where they was effectively using a jab and it just got dismissed you know what i'm saying um <clears throat> but yeah i think back to what i was saying uh, i think joe cardina is gonna win this fight i respect him because he he brings the sweet science i love those type of boxes not no slight to you know, your, your your explosive punches, you know, your inside fighters. No disrespect for them, but I just feel like when you got the sweet science down pat, it's like you, 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 it's like who can beat you? You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's, it's going to be kind of hard to beat you unless, you know, you come to find out that they chin you up. You know what I'm saying, or anything like that. But it, but it take time to get through them. You gotta actually go through that fire to find out. Like a Khan was a pure boxer. It took people time once they got you know what I'm saying, got past his his boxing ability, his skills. Once they got past the jab and all that, and his movement, his lateral movement, and once they touched his chin, they saw ah. Oh, he got a glass jaw. You know what I'm saying? But it took people time. Like, he was a world champ before he, you don't know, before people even got to know that. That's what I'm saying. The sweet science can take you far. That's why I respect it so much. Everybody else respects, you know, the brute force and, you know, the hard punches, the knockouts. But I love the, the sweet science. I love the, the time, you know what I'm saying, the lateral movement, you know, the IQs, you know what I'm saying, and Joe Joe Cardino is one of those fighters that bring that to the table, and I and I see him using that to win to beat Rockamoff. But I think it's gonna be a nice fight because Rockamoff is no screw. Up, so that's all I got, man. That's uh, I'm I'm trying to get back to this 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 uh this game, man. Uh, man, I don't know LSU might pull it out, but uh, <coughs> but uh, yeah. I just came to tell all my subscribers and anybody who listen, man, hey, dude, we, I know we got Tank and Garcia on April 22nd, but that ain't till later. Don't forget about Rock em Off versus Joe Cordina. That's going to be earlier. That's going to kick it off. So, man, just remember that, man. You won't de I don't think you will be disappointed. But uh, that's all I got, man. Uh, like, subscribe. Um, check out my shorts if you end up working out. I got a couple routines. And like I say on every video, man, hey, I do this is my therapy. I love uh the people that do subscribe. I love the people that even uh view view my channel, even view my videos, even if it's for 15 seconds. Bro, I do this cause I love it and I appreciate every every last one of y'all, man. Ryan Anthony, I'm out.